Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Hippo TC here with a Sea of Thieves guide that covers everything you need to know about how to bury your treasure, how custom maps work, and how to use the new quest board. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if I missed anything. And hell, smash the subscribe button if you have not yet already. There's a lot to talk about, so let's jump in. With Season 5 of Sea of Thieves, we finally have the ability to bury your treasure. This is something that has been requested for a long time, and to see it finally get added is amazing. So let's go ahead and cover the basics. You can now bury a variety of items, such as skulls, trinkets, chests, gems, emissary flags, gunpowder kegs, and even storage crates. You can bury an item by selecting your shovel and using the bury prompt. Once you've completely buried your item, a custom map bundle will appear on your voyage table. This custom map bundle stores location of any items you have buried. The maps in this bundle will only appear in your map radial when the bundle is on the voyage table, but I would suggest stashing it somewhere safe when other pirates are near as the map bundle can be stolen by thieving pirates like myself. So you will want to make sure you keep a close eye on it and maybe even hide it when you're not using it. If you end up hiding your bundle but also end up getting another map bundle, you can even combine them later. Another use for this bundle is storing maps from the new quest board located at each of the outposts. This new quest board is where you can pick up custom maps created by other pirates and even post up some of your own from other scurvy dogs to find and dig up your treasure. This quest board will always have a small selection of maps randomly generated to keep the board full. Wait, now I know what you might be asking yourself, why in the way lord would I want to post my map for another crew to dig up my treasure? Well, because sharing is caring, and in this case, sharing also gets you a ton of cool stuff. Let me explain. When another crew digs up your buried treasure using the map you posted, you will be rewarded with bonus renown along with the reputation for the items that were discovered the next time you log in. This is being referred to as deferred rewards. The crew that use your custom maps will get the renown from discovering the treasure from your map, and if they cash it in, they will get the gold and reputation with the trading companies. There are also a ton of new combinations with these new custom maps for buried treasure, so make sure to check them out. There's even a combination for digging up treasure from a stolen map bundle. Lastly, it's important to note, once an item is buried, the ground where you buried it will now look disrupted, indicating that something has been stashed there. This means you don't necessarily need your map bundle to relocate your treasure, but your enemies don't need it either. So make sure to bury your treasure in a good spot if you don't want other pirates heckin' stealing your booty. On top of that, you can bury gunpowder kegs and create booby traps to keep your treasure safe. A buried gunpowder keg will automatically be lit when anyone tries to dig it up, which will hopefully send your foes to the ferry, helping keep your treasure safe from thieving hands. Now, if you do manage to steal some treasure and bury it, if you want to be extra sneaky, you can hide your map bundle on an island, making it impossible for other crews to steal it from your ship. Just never leave your map bundle floating in the sea as it will eventually sink and despawn, taking your buried treasure with you. Speaking of stealing, if a pirate shows you their custom map, you can actually yoink it right from their hand. So if you are able to use your speech 100 to convince a tucker to show you where they hid the booty, you can just take that treasure map right from their hands, send that thieving pirate to the ferry, and dig up the missing treasure. Other things to note is if you portal hop, it will despawn your map bundle, which means you will want to make sure you finish all of your custom maps before going through the portal. I also tested to see if you could bury the Fort of the Damned or the Fort of Fortune keys, and it doesn't look like you can do that either. And there you have it. What do you think of this new feature in Sea of Thieves, and how do you think this is going to affect the gameplay? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you scurvy dogs out on the seas. Now, here's the question I have. If I dig it up, it won't go boom, correct? Oh, yeah, it's still well. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This did not I work. Saved. I didn't save one. Okay, just blew up 10 miles. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought...